Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and a lot of people have been asking me to do um, an update on my electroconvulsive therapy, as it's been a few years now. The reason I don't really do that many updates anymore is as I move further and further away from when I actually had it, it's hard for me to tell when when I'm having troubles, if it's, you know, a direct cause from things that happen with the ECT with my brain damage, or if it's from my schizophrenia, okay? Because, yeah, that's that's still there. That's, that's never going away. So, you know, I hate to, you know, people ask me, how am I doing? I don't want to say certain things because they may think, oh, well, the ECT caused that. You know, no. Me having hallucinations a lot does, is not a cause of the ECT. That is from my schizophrenia. But, you know, it's hard for me to really get into all that. And, and, and even I'm not sure what is what. You know, when my brain has issues and I kind of, it's not really blacking out, but I, my brain gets off, is that ECT or is that schizophrenia? I am not really sure. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so a few years it's been since I had ECT. I had it for two weeks. Um, I had six sessions for two weeks a couple years ago. Uh, this, and, and again, this is another issue why it's hard for me to give an update. I have had a horrible summer. Um, uh, like, I would say an abnormally horrible summer. A lot of stuff going on. And even then, in the past, I guess, three years, I've lost three family members and a, uh, one of my best friends died of um, heart problems and then a, a three pretty much all of my grandparents three grandparents um, one was already gone um, and even surrounding my grandmother's death this summer there was a whole big issue with me being attacked and stuff you know it's just crazy things that I would say it's been an abnormally bad summer so it's hard to be like well you know my mind's been really bad this summer but I'm also like if all this like crazy stuff hadn't happened then maybe yeah so I've been under a lot of stress and anytime I'm under a significant amount of stress it, it tears me apart like that's one thing it's just you know I've been really depressed lately I've um um you know, the point, like, every day is hard to get out of bed, kind of thing, especially the past two weeks. Just getting out of bed is a chore. I don't get out. I haven't gotten out of bed before 11, except the few days where actually, that's the thing, I don't really have a job. Most of my jobs are evening and nights. Um, so it's so hard for me to get out of bed before 11. And it's not a sleep issue. It's just, you know, I'm just so depressed. I'll, sometimes I'll be awake since, like, you know, 7. I'll just lay there and can't get the energy. I just keep hoping I'll fall back asleep, but I can't. Um, so how am I doing? Ups and downs. Uh, my head, and like I said, I don't know if this is left over from the brain damage that the ECT caused, or my schizo, or just me cracking under the pressure of all this stuff that just keeps happening to me. Um, but I've been kind of, like, my brain gets off. I don't really know how to describe it other than it's, it's off. Thing, I, I could tell when I'm getting off. I could actually, that sounded weird. I could tell when things are getting kind of weird. Um, since pretty much January, uh, my speech will start slurring. And one of my jobs is I teach modeling and acting classes, and I'll, you know, so I yak a lot. And I could actually hear myself having a hard time pronouncing words. You know, it just they kind of run together. It's like, I'm, it's like I'm drunk, honestly. It's like a slurred speech. And when I hear it, I automatically, because I'm just so used to listening for it, I start um, going out of my way to over-pronunciate everything because I don't I don't want to look you know bad and it's not like I'm going to sit down and tell hey everybody by the way today my head's a little off all right I'm not going to go down that road so and I hear myself when I have a waitressing job when I'm waitressing I'll um that one is easier to hide when I'm off because if I don't really I don't stand there and talk to people non-stop I may say hey what would you like do you have any questions you know and that's pretty much it you know, I very rarely will have a full conversation, but I could tell when I'm off because my hands will shake and I can I spill things. Um, so yeah, that's been really bad since about January, and I don't know. Again, is that left over from the brain damage? Is that just me cracking under stress? Uh, I tend to think it may be a brain damage thing. Um, and again, not everyone who has electroconvulsive therapy will have brain damage. Like that's. Okay, so that was just, you know, it did with me. Um, I can say, uh, a plus, my reading and writing has gotten a lot better for a while there. It was, 
it was bad. I still, um, uh, every night I pretty much read Wolverine comics. Like I have like the big anthology books I'm trying to work. I started at volume three, but now I'm back to vol, I just now got volume one. So I'm actually starting at volume one. I'm going to try through and, through and read. I think I have five of them and they're huge. So, um, that's actually been helping my reading a lot, being able to keep me in it. Cause usually if it's just a straight up paragraph of text, probably about the fourth sentence, I start to, um, have trouble with it and start skipping words like not on, not on purpose but yeah I've learned that I'm able to pretty much stick I can read a whole comic book sometimes multiple comic books and I have an issue and I mean again a comic book's a lot different than let's say a straight up paragraph but I think that's been helping for the times that I'll realize you know I've read a small paragraph and didn't have an issue my writing I've been able to write more and more um so yeah, I've been, as some of you who email me have gotten some pretty lengthy emails, and I won't lie, I do cheat a little and copy and paste. Uh, if you ask a question that previously other people have asked, um, I kind of keep that stuff safe, so I can just copy and paste, because I, I know that it's hard for me to rewrite paragraphs. If I write a paragraph, I'm like, woo, save, <laughs> use that again. Say, so, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I do cheat a little. Uh, <laughs> overall, I mean, if, if my, uh, if I need to get ECT again, hands down, yes. Where I'm at now, you know, in my life, um, I'm handling, the point is, I'm handling the stress. If this had been before the ECT, I would have cracked under the pressure. And I, um, that's why I originally got it. I was just becoming more and more inside myself and I, I don't know how I, I don't know how I was alive. Um, so for me, the electroconvulsive, it's still, it saved my life and I am still a huge supporter of it even with the brain damage the brain damage is like nothing compared to what I've gained from it all right like that for me yeah I, I'll take worse brain damage before I if you give me the option hey Rachel do you want to completely lose your ability to read and write and get all slurry in speech and stuff or go back to how you were I'll lose it all I don't I don't care I do not want to go back to that state I was in and um, for any schizophrenics who've been in that state and those of you with extreme depression where you pretty much just are sinking inside of yourself and you know that deadness that numbness inside and pretty much detaching from reality it is very scary and it's this slippery slope that you know part of you is still there and you don't want to go down it but you can't stop it and for me that's what ECT did is it pretty much stopped me on that slope and I was able to, from that point, crawl back out. You know, it took months, and it's taken years to get where I'm at. Um, you know, so I hear a lot of people tell me how, like, oh, you know, ECT is supposed to be this quick thing. For me, it was not quick. Um, there were positives that happened right after. Um, I wasn't as angry. I didn't, you know, have a lot of outbursts and stuff like I used to. I, you know, I was just, it, it was better. I was a lot calmer. But I don't think a lot of the huge um, improvements didn't come until at least a year after. Um, again, if I get bad again, I will, as long as I have the money, as my insurance doesn't cover anything like this right now. Um, <clears throat> <sighs> sorry. I always have an issue with insurance stuff, but we won't get into that. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. I will definitely get it in because like I said, it was a lifesaver for me. I hope I never have to make that decision again, but if I get to that point, yes, I will have ECT again, you know. Um, I'm hoping to go back on my antidepressants very soon, and I think that'll, that'll help a lot of the, uh, the kind of places I've been at right now, kind of smoothing them out, but we'll, we'll see. We're hoping, I'm hoping within the next month I can go back on them. Um, and we'll see if maybe they can help stabilize me a little. So, yeah, that, that's my update. I don't really know what other questions you have. If you want to um, pop them down here in, uh, well, for one, I'm going to put the positives and negatives of my ECT per today. I'm going to put that in the uh, info section at the bottom of the YouTube video. So if you're watching on another platform, if you click the YouTube thing at the bottom of the video, it'll send you to the actual page and you can read about it in the info section. And uh, if you have any other questions that I don't cover, please uh, send me a comment either in the YouTube comments, I'll be watching them to uh, update. Or if you want to email me, rachel at rachelstarlive.com. That's in the uh, info box too down there or on the screen or whatever. Anyway, yeah, send me an email and I will do my best to address it. Uh, 
basically, if you are out there and you're having a hard time and a lot of times ECT is considered a last resort. I mean, for me, it took me, I think, a year to two years before they even approved me for it, something like that. And I had to test out of all these medications to make sure that there were no medications that would work for me, and there weren't. I don't really respond very well to antipsychotics and whatnot, and I had just gotten so worse at the time. But, um, yeah, I do think it's a great option. Um, but it is not something to, it's not a decision you need to make flippantly. It is something that, you know, there are downsides to it. So, I don't know. I hope this helps. Uh, I'm Rachel, and thank you for watching. You know what? Especially if you sat through this whole thing of me rambling. Yeah. All right, well, bye. Where the ECT happened, it was easy. I'm just going to start this whole thing over. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just a terrible intro.